he wants to boost your FPS from this to this. So, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the best secret FPS unlocker that you can use to boost 1000 plus FPS fix FPS drops and lag. So, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. So, let's get straight into the video. Gear Up Booster is the best program to boost your FPS and fix lag in any game, however. In this video, we'll specifically explain how you can use Gear Up Booster to increase FPS in Roblox and eliminate lag. Make sure to grab this program for free from the link provided in the description. First head over to Device Manager. Now once you're onto Device Manager, you're going to want to go ahead and find System. Devices as you can see right here. And once you find that go ahead and click and open on it. up all these options right here. And out of all these options, you're gonna want to look for high precision event. Timer you're probably gonna have this enabled. But, if you do you're gonna want to try disabling it, because this takes up a bunch of your PC, and it doesn't really do anything for it. So, you're just gonna want to go the ahead and disable. The device you just click yes. So doing that will most likely give you a boost in FPS. If it doesn't and it makes it worse, then go ahead and turn that back on. But, in most cases it should give you a boost. So go ahead and turn that off. And that is the first step. Now in the second step, create a custom power plane. So first you're gonna want to go to choose what power buttons do. And once you're on this page, you're gonna want to change click. settings that are currently unavailable. That's so that's these settings right here. So go ahead and click and then on here it. you're just gonna want to turn off. Turn on fast startup. So this makes it so your PC just stays on 24 seven. You want to make sure you turn that off. So once you do that, gonna want to click save changes here. Be brought back to here to one tier. You're gonna want to click show additional plans. And as you can see here, there's an option that's right called here. high performance. So as you there's can see, there's options here for preferred plans. But then there's also additional plan high performance. So balance is usually recommended for most species. But you can also choose high performance to actually give you that extra boost. It does take more energy. But depending on if you want it, you can go ahead and choose it and I'll actually give you more FPS. Now in the third step you're gonna want to go over and click on gaming. So, as you can see there's a game bar here. And this is like the Xbox game bar usually. But if you're here, then you're actually going to want to turn this off. This actually takes up a lot of your performance. So, you want to make sure that it's so, turned off. So, it doesn't do that now once you do that. You can also go over to captures. And if it has a record in the background, while I'm playing a game on, then you want to make sure that it's off. Cause this will impact the quality of your game and your FPS a lot. So make sure that you have it turned off always. So just turn that off, and then, you will be good. Now once you do that, you can head over to game And you mode. want to make sure that your game mode is turned on. So this optimizes your PC to play games. So that is the third option you can do. Can actually make it work even better. By clicking on related settings. Or graphic settings right underneath. Related settings right here. And once you click on It'll that, bring to this page here. And then you're gonna want to click browse down here. Which click browse? You want to go to your local disk. Then you want to go over to Rob Program Files 86. And you want to scroll down till you find Roblox. Right here and once you find You it, want to click on Versions Versions again. Then you want to click Roblox Player Launcher. Go ahead and add this to the actual graphic settings. And you can actually optimize this even more. To make it even more boosted. As you can see. If you click Options right underneath the app. Then you can change this to High Performance. And that will automatically put it on the highest performance. That I can just for that app. So, you can go ahead and click And save. then that will boost your FPS a lot. So now in the fourth step, the actual Roblox game is to actually download FPS it. booster or unlocker. So this makes it so that there's no lock on Roblox. Normally, it's locked at 60 FPS, but you can actually make it so it has unlimited FPS. So go ahead and go to this link. I'll put it in the description below. So go ahead and click and on And you'll it. be brought to this page here. Now once you're on this page, you're gonna want to go ahead and copy all this program. It doesn't have any viruses on it. I've tested it myself, but if you think it's sketchy, you can go ahead and skip this I promise step. you there's nothing in it. This is all really simple programming, but once you do you're that, you're gonna want to minus out of this, and go ahead and right click on your PC, and then go down to new, and then, and create a new text document. Now once you do that, you're going to want to type in client app settings, and then you want to change it from a text file, to a.json file so.json. 
So, it's client-app-settings.json, so go click ahead. Click that it'll ask you if you want to rename it, because it will change the file name extension. Go ahead and click yes, as you can it'll see. It'll change it to this right here. And once you do you that, you can go ahead and open it, and once you're on Make it, sure it's opened in Notepad, you're gonna want to paste the program that you just copied into this. And once you do you that, you can go ahead and close it, click save. Search for Roblox in your search bar right or, here. Or, thus click on the app icon. And you want to open file location. Now once you do that, you're gonna want to do it one more time, and then right click on the player and you want to open file location. So that was bugging for some reason, but open for the file location. It will bring you to this page here. So, once you're on this page, so, you're gonna want to create a new folder. So go ahead and click new folder, or just and add one And once you in. do that, you're gonna want to name it client settings. So, once you do that, you're gonna want to drag the client app that you just had into here. Once you do that, it will put that in and out. Your FPS on Roblox has been unlocked. So I'll show you guys what I mean by spent unlocked. Real quick, as you can see it's loading still, but if I actually click shift at 5, then I can see the FPS in the top left corner of the screen, and right now it's at about 500. Now if you don't have that activated, it will automatically get locked at 60. So as you can see, if I go back out and head over to the folders, real quick let me close out of Roblox, and if I head into the client settings, if I actually remove this from the folder, and I open back up Roblox real quick. As you can see, if I go to Shift 5, it is locked at 60 FPS, so this actually update by 500. That's one of the best things. You can do so, I would really suggest doing that. As you can see, if I go here and I turn it all the way up, then the graphics change on Roblox, and it makes it look personal. I think it looks nicer if I have it turned all the way up, but if you have it turned all the way you down, you will get more FPS. So, you can go ahead and do that if you want depending to, depending on how much you care about the visuals of the game. Finally, there's one more thing that you that can I do. think you should do. Go ahead and search for Task Manager real quick and go ahead and open it. So, all of this doesn't really matter. It's just matter. a bunch of random but stuff. But on the top, there should be an option that says Start Up right here. So, it should be one of the seven options at the top. So, go ahead and find it and, and click on it. And once you click on it, you'll see all the, all the upsets start up when you open your PC. So, you just want to go through and turn off or turn on any of them that you want. Normally want as many of them disabled as you can. So, like iTunes helps her, I don't need that enabled. Or start it up when I start my PC. So, I can go ahead and disable I don't it. need lively enabled. You can just go through and just turn Any off. of them that you don't need. As you can see, I don't need Microsoft One Like, there's a lot of things that you probably Enabled have. in here that you don't need. Just go through and disable. Any of them that you don't need. And then once you've done that, you should have a good amount of FPS on Roblox. So I should have gotten a boost. If you did, let me know in the comments below how much of a boost you got. If you didn't, put down any of the problems that you I'll have. I'll try my best to help you guys out. But I hope this video is helpful. I and really it was. appreciate like and subscribe. I put a lot of time into this. Finding out how to boost your FPS. So just go ahead and hit that like button. And I'll see you guys next time. I love you.